everyone! So today I am bringing you some book to movie adaptations that I love. I've done two of these videos before. I did one entirely devoted, for, devoted to Shakespeare for Shakespeare Week and then I have also done another one in which I just discussed three books that I absolutely loved the adaptations for. So I have three here that I want to talk to you about. So the first one is Anne Bronte's The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. As you guys know, I absolutely love The Tenant of Wildfell Hall and Anne Bronte. I think Anne Bronte is the best Bronte, hands down. Um, I'm still not like entirely reconciled to Charlotte Bronte kind of making Anne's works become unpublished. I'm a little, a little bitter about that, even though I do still love Charlotte Bronte. But yes, absolutely adore this. I think this is a fantastic book. If you haven't read it, go read it. It is a bit long, but they did just come out with these beautiful vintage editions, which, uh, the end papers, guys. The end papers are just so pretty. Um, really, really love these books. Love these editions. Um, so the it, movie that I'm talking about, I think it's split into two parts. It's been a while since I watched this one. Um, and it is, there's no really famous actors in it, which is a bit strange. Like most of the ones that I've been talking about have like, you know, big names in it, like Kira Knightley or, you know, Richard Armitage. Can you guess which two I'm talking about? Pride and Prejudice and North and South, which I mentioned in my last one. Um, this one doesn't have any big names in it. It was done in 1996 and it's kind of just one of those fairly solid BBC adaptations. Like it's not over the top amazing, but it's really well done. And like, I think for Anne Bronte, we've got to take what we can get. I don't think that there are going to be many Anne Bronte adaptations. There's not going to be many big ones. And this one does a fairly good job of representing the book. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. It might be a bit of a struggle to track it down, but I mean, I managed to, so I did really enjoy it. Next up is a surprise, surprise, Thomas Hardy, and it's actually a fairly recent one, and that is Far From the Matting Crowd. Now, I really enjoyed the most recent edition of this that has come out. It stars Carrie Mulligan. Um, I think that the cinematography is just absolutely stunning and beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing. I think it does a really good job of representing the book, and I think it captures the essence of the book. I think sometimes with adaptations, we get a little bogged down with like focusing on how factual it is to the book and how close it does. But I think as long as it captures the the essence and kind of the spirit of it, I will really enjoy it. Um, that's how I feel about the 2005 Pride and Prejudice uh, version and that's how I feel about the Far From the Matting crowd that has just come out. So if you haven't had a chance to see that, I think it's on Netflix now. Um, I know I saw it. I'm like 90% certain it's on Netflix and I saw it and like I saw it in theaters when it came out and just absolutely loved it and it's just kind of one of those things that like you can put on in the background and it's it's kind of like Pride and Prejudice in that way in that the cinematography is absolutely beautiful the soundtrack's beautiful you can just kind of put it on and it's just it's such a soothing watch oh I just absolutely love it and then the final one that I'm going to talk about today is as you guys know, if you watch my author spotlight on Jane Austen, not my favorite novel of Austen's. I still enjoy it. I still like it. I need to reread it, definitely. And that is Emma. Hey, yeah, I had some issues reading Emma when I first read it. To be fair, I did read all of Austen in like very close succession um, with no breaks in between, which was probably a bit of a mistake. I've learned from my mistakes. Um, but the adaptation I want to talk to you about is Clueless, starring Alicia Silverstone and Paul Rudd. Clueless is just, uh, it's a 90s movie and it's just, it's so perfectly 90s, like the outfits, the like slang, the way it's presented and it's just fantastic. I really enjoy adaptations that kind of put a twist on things. Um, if you guys watch my Shakespeare adaptation video, you will know that I love like teen movies based on classics, so like Taming of the Shrew and so on and so forth, but Clueless is probably my favorite. I watch it at least once or twice a year. I think young Paul Rott is just absolutely hilarious. It's just, it's such a good, feel-good movie and it just, oh, it feels, breaks my heart like with joy. But we're in a bad mood and I'm like, oh, I just need to get out of this funk. I'm in a really angry, like crummy mood. I will put Clueless on and it will never fail to cheer me up. So there are some book to movie adaptations that I love. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying the series, if there's any ones you want me specifically to watch so I can talk about them. Um, I do really enjoy watching adaptations and as I've gone through a lot of Dickens, I have a lot of Dickens adaptations to get caught up. So I might, next time I do this, have caught up on some Dickens and do a strictly Dickens uh, adaptation discussion. So I will see you guys in another video.
Bye.